Hi y'all, friendly neighborhood fox here. Um, today we are going to be doing a tutorial slash a um, I don't know, kind of a kind of an experiment kind of thing. So um, I recently stopped bleaching my hair. Um, it's grown out pretty well, so my natural regrowth is pretty decent. And from what you can see, I have a lot of gray. It's not even gray anymore, it's more silver than anything. So what I figure, and my tri my bangs need trimmed, so we're going to tutorial bang trimming the correct way. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of seeing all the, all the gals and such trying to trim bangs and so they come to here and then they end up going all the way up to there and it's just... We need to know how to trim our own bangs by now. Really? Because, <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, yeah, so we're going to be going through that too and such. And I need to go and grab my scissors. Alright, so I have here with me my handy dandy hair cutting shears. Yes, the type of shears that you get are in fact important. So you've got two different kinds of shears, main shears anyway. You've got your your regular, uh, I think these are eight inch ones. I don't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure these are eight inch. So these are just regular shears, hair cutting shears. And then I also have these. They're thinning shears. So what these do is these add volume to your hair and they add texture. It also helps thin out your hair if you got extremely thick hair, which I unfortunately do, but that's quite all right. But yeah, so these are thinning shears. So they've got the, the little ridges here and what it does is it separates the hair and only the hair that gets cut is where that blade is. So yeah, it's kind of nifty. So we're gonna we're gonna actually start with the bang trimming. So I always like to cut mine at like a diagonal, a fringe, so that way I can just live my best emo life. Still, even though I'm 30 now, which is ridiculous. But okay, so. When you start, when you do your bangs, you're gonna section out where you want them. So I'm just gonna bring a little more of my hair forward. Okay, so that's about where I do my bangs, like how I have them and such. So since you're starting at a diagonal, you're gonna, I'm gonna want my bang to start here above my, like a little bit below the top frame of my glasses. So because this is gonna spring out, what you do is take a little bit Okay, so when you're when you're cutting your bangs, <laughs> please remember, don't just bring them out to the to the bottom of the nose and then cut, because they're gonna spring up, they're gonna end up like all the way up here, and you're just gonna look ridiculous. So this is how we do a diagonal emo bang, if that's what you want to call it. So you're going to bring your fingers straight and you're going to bring them straight down. And then when you get to where you want them, which I'm going to do to about my nose only because I've been doing this forever. So you're just going to die. You're just going to drop the inside of your finger a little bit and you're just going to make a cut right along that diagonal. See, just like that. 
and then take a little bit more Make sure they're nice and make sure your hair is nice and smooth too because if it's not nice and smooth then you're gonna get like totally wrong so in this next section I'm gonna bring my pointer finger down to where I ended my last cut and I'm just gonna drop the fingers a little bit on the inside where the fingers meet the hand and you're just gonna snip I'm not actually taking a whole lot off, only because I like just did this. So, and on to the last section. Same thing. Bring your fingers down to where you ended, and then just drop the inside of your fingers a smidge, and just snip off the excess just like that okay so when you're done you get nice little diagonal bang that's not too short not too long and you can do that flippy thing like the guy from that band can do all right so now we are on to our color so I'm going to color this entire section that I just cut and we're going to do it blue because I have blue left from last time I did it. <laughs> and we're just going to kind of see how far this little bit goes because my hair sucks up moisture bad. So we are using the Ion Brights in what color is this i think it's aqua yeah in aqua so this brand i have been using for years they are amazing um i don't know how well it's gonna cover the gray hair but we're gonna find out together so you should be wearing gloves however i've done this so much i know how to get it off my skin. If it stains your skin, get it off. <laughs> Don't walk around looking like an idiot. The only reason I'm about to do this without gloves is because I have a shit ton of acne wash. Okay, so we're going to start. And it's always handy. to make sure you section, even if it's a little spot like this. If not, you miss hairs, it gets patchy, it does not cute. There's just, there's a few reasons. Okay, so we're gonna take about half this hair. We're just gonna go along the front. And y'all, invest in a rat tail before you do this. So we're just gonna take this little bit here. Twist it a couple times. Bring it back. And secure it with a clip. Just like that. Have an itch. All right. So now I just got this little itty bit. Keep your scissors handy. I might figure out you missed a piece. Yeah, because I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so yeah. Just like that. And then we're going to take our color. And 
then we're going to start root because that's where it's needed the most. And we are just going to work it through that hair. Going to want to make sure there's heavy saturation bef when you do this. Because if not, again, it ends up patchy. It's just not cute. Like, pat patchy hair is no fun. I have been a victim of patchy hair a time or two. And I, yeah, it's just not fun at all. Not fun. Nope, nope. Nope. I do like this brand because it, it doesn't have a harsh smell at all to it. It's kind of nice going from like dollar store brand and stuff. Like it doesn't, it's not strong. It actually has a nice like, I want to say almost fruity-ish scent to it. Okay, so that's one section of this bangs done. So take it out. And comb it out make sure you're combing in between this guys because yeah okay there's another spot I missed accidentally all right okay so another little section and guys I'm only doing like maybe an eighth of an inch for a section make sure that your sections are nice and thin because if not again you don't get the hair saturated good enough and it's all patchy and it's not cute So we're going to comb this out. Like, and it covers really good, too. And believe me, I am not knocking dime store or drugstore brands. Like, Revlon. Revlon is actually one of the better, like, box dyes that I've ever used. Like, the color always comes out really nice. If you do have grays, like I have grays, I have a lot of grays, um, it comes out to where like it's like full gray coverage and it's just, it's really nice. Like the way that their uh, chemical composition is. Cause that's another one that doesn't really smell too awful, horrible. <laughs> uh, the Revlon and the Garnier. I have figured out that color silk stuff. And then for the Garnier, the color sensation seemed to work the best for that. And I will show you guys, see how I've got blue up here. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna take that off before I rinse because if not, it'll stain and it'll be a bitch to come off. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get that off like everybody tries everybody does that does that petroleum jelly stuff and i can't stand the feeling so i personally don't use petroleum jelly when i dye my hair i just use the technique i'm going to show you because it just it's the one of the only things that has always worked when i get dye in my on my skin like and you can do it in the shower too it doesn't doesn't really make a difference where you do it just as long as you do it
If you are a messy person, I do suggest gloves. But if you if you know you're going to be able to get it off your skin, then go for it. It's the way I feel. Because I don't have a pair of the um, washable gloves. I did. They fell apart. <laughs> so, yeah. And with the sectioning, it's actually going to be really easy for you to be able to figure out which pieces you need to grab. And if you do feel com more comfortable using like a brush, then use it. Like don't don't be an idiot and go totally out of your comfort zone. So we are on the last piece of the of the thing. So, and I, I just brushed it. So we are just gonna, and all I'm doing is I'm globbing it on my fingers and then just kind of rolling it around. So that way it's on all of them. I even got it on my pinky. Yeah, cause that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so just, roll it around in your fingers and then just hit your hair with it. How we gonna get home? And he gonna be like, oh, who's this sexy thing? And like, look at how good that covers. Like, look at that blue. And like my, my hair is not bleached. The only part of my hair that's technically bleached is underneath the purple and the blue that's already on there. So it's not, it's not like you have to have bleached hair for this. It is more helpful if you want like super vibrant, but if you're just looking for like a touch up like I'm doing now, you can just put it right over. Because Ion is actually one of those it stacks pretty well. Okay, so now that I have all of it done, I'm just going to go back and make sure that it's all saturated. Nice and pretty. So when you do this, it should feel like you have toothpaste in your hair. I know it sounds weird. But trust me it's going to help you <laughs> because if you feel like you've got toothpaste in your hair, you've got it saturated enough. And if you, if you don't, if you notice that it's kind of drying out as you're, as you're waiting on it to process, then like by all means put more on because that means you did not saturate your hair well enough. Oh yeah. There the old clone goes. Good thing I'm doing this over a sink. Okay. But make sure you get your scalp. Like, don't, not with bleach. Don't, don't get your scalp with bleach. But all I'm saying is make sure you get your scalp nice and, nice and good. Oh, hey, good shit. I have enough. And make sure if you're doing like your full head, you have enough color. I always, I always usually, so my hair right now with its thickness and length, my hair takes about, oh, I want to say seven of these tubes, like full tubes. So I always get nine. Get two more than you think you're going to need. Because if you run out, there is no going back. 
Like, unless it's the middle of the day and, like, your Sally's is open or your Walmart and you know you can get more, just don't do it. Make sure you have enough. That's another thing, too. You should know at this point how much dye our hair takes. Dye or bleach. Either or. These little baby hairs here. I didn't know what I was doing with those apparently. And like the greatest thing about doing your own hair, like if you're if you're brave enough to try new things, like don't do this if you're not. <laughs> Cause yeah. Yeah. And the greatest thing about doing your own hair at home is like you can you can do it however you want to do it like if you want to i remember there was a there's a family tragedy and i ended up going to sally's and getting like six or seven tubes of hair dye all different colors <laughs> my friend and i sat in sat on my living room floor and just put streaks and foils in my hair like not not anywhere even like specific just random ass places in my hair so i had like really cool striped streaky hair that was like six or seven different colors so i mean that was that was pretty fun so like if you if you have an Im imagination and you can do it like if you have the guts to do it do it it's so much fun. Plus, it's hair. If you don't like it, you can either dye it black or you can just wait and bleach it out. All right, so I think I got this nice and saturated. So that's what it looks like. It's all clumped together and stuff. So I'm gonna rinse my hands really quick. Because I'm going to comb through it. And like I will show you guys how easy this stuff comes off with just water. So that way you guys have an idea of what you'll be dealing with. As opposed to like staining and stuff. Because staining I know for a fact is just ridiculous. Especially skin. So with just water, I was able to get off most of the, most of the blue on my hand. So, so you're going to want to, you're going to want to grab acne scrub. So the, the exfoliating crystal, exfoliating stuff is the one that works the best. You can take a little bit, grab it on your hand. And just wash your hands with it because I will show you guys. I have been using this trick for years and it has never failed me. So, as you can see, 
like there's not as much on this. So since that didn't work too awful well, I'm just going to take a little bit of that and then a little bit of like any kind of dish, any kind of hand soap, sorry. Kind of mix it in your hands while you're doing it. And it might not come off all the way the first time, but that's, that's okay. As long as you get most of it off. Kind of tedious, but... So this is what we kind of ended up with. Notice how it's like almost off my pinkies all the way. So like it's not, not even that horrible. But I'm going to mess it up again because I have to put this up in a clippy. So when you do, you're just going to take all the dye, all the hair you dyed. It's kind of roll it into a bun not a tight bun just like a loose bun or whatnot all right Can you need any duck bill? Just like that. Okay. I'm going to go grab my um, oxyplats. Alright, so I have my oxypads. They're noxemas. Um, I've never, ever had an issue with noxema. I love it. I swear by it. I even like the smell. I know it's weird, but so you're just going to grab one of your pads and you're just going to go to work wherever you have the, the hair dye on your skin. And because this is cyclic acid, it literally takes everything off. Like, see, I've got that, see, I've got a little blue spot like right there just gonna wipe it and it's gone like I'm not even kidding like this is these are the best these are the fucking best I love them so much and another great thing so I washed my hands twice with this deep action clean and clear so when I take my OxyClean pad and I wipe my finger, takes it off too. And it actually ends up taking it off better because of the cyclic acid in it. All right, so I'm going to let this process. I usually let it pro the the instructions always say you wait like 30 minutes and then do a strand test or whatnot. Um, but if you do want it more vibrant, you can leave it on a little bit longer. Um, I've been known to leave my hair dye on for up to about an hour and a half, depending on how vibrant I want the colors. Bleach though. If you are bleaching your hair, do not leave it on your hair longer than 45 
minutes. If you don't, like if you wait more than 45 minutes, honestly, uh, with bleach, I normally do a strand test after like 15 or 20 minutes only because if you if you leave your hair if you leave your bleach on way too long over 45 minutes you have the possibility of um scalp irritation chemical burns um your hair not being even like if you need to girl set two three fucking alarms like you get done with this back section set an alarm 15 minutes do a strand test. It's where you take like one little strand. So assume your hair is in foils, which is usually how uh, people get it to process a little bit faster. So you take your foil off like at the very end, like I would say about like midway up. And then you just, you take either a wet washcloth or a wet paper towel and you just take all the bleach off of that strand and see if it's the the color the blonde you want if it's not like if you need to go a little bit lighter put more bleach on it let it sit another like 10 minutes check it again and so on and so forth but also on top of the chemical burns and the scalp irritation that you can get from bleach if you leave it on for longer than 45 minutes, your hair fries, your curl fries straight out of it. I had gorgeous curls <laughs> and I fried mine out. Like my hair is just now starting to go back to curly and it's like wavy as all get out right now because it's learning to recurl itself. Like I have to retrain my hair to curl again which is ridiculous because my curl's natural. So you have the possibility of not only frying your hair off of your head, which like you'll know if you do because it'll be it'll be really stringy. It'll it'll almost look like ramen noodles on your head, which isn't a good look for anybody, honestly, because no. No. The, the last person to make ramen noodle hair cool was Justin Timberlake, and that was back in the 90s, okay? So, no, like, ramen noodle hair is just gross. It's gross to look at. It's just gross to me, honestly. Like, that's just my opinion. But, yeah, so don't leave your bleach on longer than 45 minutes. Don't bleach your hair more than once in a day if you it if you have pitch black hair and you try going blonde it's going to start taking the the colors out so you're gonna lose your um if i'm remembering right your green and your blue pigment so that's only going to leave you with red the more steps you take bleaching your hair the more orange colors you're going to see However, if you want to do it safely, not fry your hair. If you if you're going through the orange change, deal with it for 2 weeks. 2 weeks. And then bleach your hair again. Because in those 2 weeks, I'm going to guessing that you take about what 3 showers a week. Three yeah, 3 showers a week. That's 6 showers for 2 weeks. So in the meantime, what you can, what you can do is you can, um, put in a hair mask. I always, um, when people are like, my hair is really dry. I don't, I don't, I don't suggest coconut oil because all coconut oil does and don't do it if you're either dying or bleaching your hair because it's just not going to go through the coconut oil. You're going to end up with patches. Because what coconut oil do is, yes, it does introduce moisture into your hair. But once it's on, no other moisture is getting in. None whatsoever. So I always suggest 
a mayonnaise mask. What you do, you just you go to the store, you get a jar of regular mayonnaise, not, uh, don't do the Miracle Whip because it just won't work because it's too much sugar in it for your hair to handle. Get regular mayonnaise, put it in your hair like you're doing a bleach, like eat, like layer, layer it and everything. Once you have it in there, work it really good into your scalp and to, into your roots or your, your ends, sorry. Your roots and your ends, that's what you want to really really want to soak that moisture up leave it in your hair 45 minutes to an hour depending on what you prefer rinse it out with a mild shampoo and condition and style in your own preference because what the mayonnaise does is it <coughs> oil is good for your hair I suggest olive oil for a lot of people because olive oil is all natural it's really, it just helps a lot with moisture, a lot. <laughs> so I always suggest either olive oil or the mayonnaise treatment. You're going to want to leave that in your hair, rinse it out. Two weeks later, bleach again if you need to. Go through the orange stage. <laughs> if you don't go through the orange stage, you're never going to get to platinum because your hair is going to fall out super quick because you're going to just fry it. Like, absolutely fry it. Um, Saw a video where a girl almost had to shave her head because she did like four or five bleaches in a day. Yeah, it was ridiculous. And then she was crying and all I can say is she kind of did it to herself. Like, your, your hair is very fragile. It's going to take a minute to get it down to platinum. I tried for years to get it to platinum. All it ever got me was, like, the light orange <laughs> color. But, yeah. So, more than one bleach a day, not a good idea. You're going to have a bad time. But I am going to let this process, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, so I'm going to leave it on another half an hour because I think I've been rambling for 15 minutes now. So we are going to wait. And I will be back with results. Okay, so we are back. We are going to look at these bangs together. How about that? Remember what I said about the blue coming off like super duper easy, like off your hands and stuff? Like that's all I'm left with is just that little bit of blue. So if you, if you did use your hands without gloves, don't even worry about it because it'll, it'll come off. All right. So we're just going to use a comb. And on your scalp, that'll come off too. Like, that'll just come off when you're like in the shower and stuff. All right, so. Looks like it covered the gray pretty fucking well, which is honestly what I was looking for. So for that, I give it a 10 out of 10. We're just gonna style it just the same way I have been for ever, <laughs> pretty much, because I'm still an emo kid. It's not just a phase, I promise. But it, se it seems to have covered really, really well. So, yeah. And if you've noticed, like, that you have any extra hair from when you, when you kind of trimmed your bangs, Now's the time to get them when they're, when they're wet. Right. 
which I just got them. So, yeah. So it, <coughs> oh goodness. It covered really, really quite nicely. So that's with like directly underneath the light. So it, it did cover those grays pretty well. Kind of excited for when it dries, but I'm not one to break out a hair dryer because yeah, no, I don't use one of those. So All right. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna use a bobby pin and clip these back away from my face just a little bit. All right. Hey, if you'll notice, I do have a little blue from when I was rinsing out on my forehead. So we're gonna use our handy dandy Noxzema pads again. Cause, yeah. And there is still blue coming off of my fingers, which is quite nice. Hit this little spot with it. Just be careful when you're doing this around like the freshly dyed hair, because it will it will strip the color off of your hair. It's just always so much fun, so much fun. So yeah, that is how you do it. And I will say I'm, I am quite pleased, excited to see what this is going to look like in the uh, near future when it's all dry and stuff, and I will be back when that happens, and I will show you guys the final result. Okay, so we are back. Alright, and it looks like it was a success. Looks like it did exactly what I wanted it to. It's going to look badass out in the sun. I am excited. All right. So this has been your friendly neighborhood fox with a another hair, hair tutorial. All right. Stay classy, guys.